Hi, Carl Kasgard uh, from Halifax 57 Rescue, and we're here with our new internet television show. I wanted to tell you about exciting new developments for our project to uh, find a Halifax and bring it to the Bomber Command Museum of Canada out in Alberta. We've made an exciting discovery and uh, we'd like to tell it to you now. Uh, one of our spies uh, over in England looking for parts found out about a scrapyard in Europe that had over 10 tons of Halifax uh, wing assemblies and main landing gear and uh, we were able to get over there. I went over there on very short notice and we purchased everything that we could that was from two Hastings transport aircraft. Now for those of you who are not experts of Handley Page aircraft, the Hastings use the Halifax wing and landing gear to make their transport. And this transport, Hastings wing, is almost identical to the Halifax aircraft. So we actually have discovered, purchased, and are getting ready to ship uh, over 10 tons of Halifax wing here to Canada. Uh, we've had wonderful cooperation from the National Aviation Museum in Ottawa. They've agreed to, once the parts have arrived in the Port of Montreal in a container, to be brought to Ottawa and uh, to be stored and initial assessment, evaluation and rebuild could actually begin in Ottawa after the parts arrive. The parts should arrive in late February, early March, a special container coming from our secret location uh, will be coming in and uh, then we'll be able to get them to Ottawa and uh, begin the process of beginning a Halifax for Canada. We are still very much in the running to discover, find and uh, locate the Halifax LW170 from the Royal Canadian Air Force and we hope to be able to do that in the coming months into the summer of 2011. But for now, we have our hands full with all these, uh, I'm not complaining, with all these rare Halifax parts that are coming from Europe in a special container load. And uh, believe me, these are major components that we can actually begin a Halifax now. And we're very, very pleased with all of these latest developments. We're here now at the Nanton uh, Museum uh, Workshop, the Bomber Command Museum of Canada, and uh, all the goodies we have here. I wanted to talk about support and resources that will be coming up uh, after our major discovery of these Halifax components at the scrapyard in Europe. And I'm really pleased to be able to announce the following. Uh, George Roshkoff, the engineer that rebuilt the Halifax wing of NA337, the only Halifax in Canada, in Trenton, Ontario. He has agreed to totally rebuild our wing sections that we are bringing over from Europe. He's uh, an expert at that. He's, got, he's acquired all uh, blueprints from Trenton, Ontario to help with the rebuild and um, he's probably the foremost expert on the Halifax airframe that's uh, been able to step forward and he's really going to be invaluable leading us in the, in the beginnings of our rebuild. Also, um, I had been speaking with uh, the National Aviation Museum in Ottawa and they are uh, willing and very keen to help us with uh, when the parts arrive at the Port of Montreal from Europe that we would be able to display them and initially start rebuilding under the guidance of George Roshkoff. This is uh, wonderful news for us that we're receiving this support and it doesn't stop there. Uh, there's a major corporation here in Alberta that uses uh, huge uh, aluminum beams uh, in their construction of their company uh, and we have been able to get their permission and their agreement to help us with the actual re-engineering and making of Halifax wing main spars. The parts that are coming from Europe have been cut up with torches at certain spots on the main spar. 
So we have to replicate and uh, put into the airframe these brand new main spars. As we progress over the next few months in my reports, uh, I will be giving you the names of these wonderful people that have been able to help us. At this point in time, we have agreements in principle for the uh, wing uh, spars to be built and um, I'll finalize that in the next few weeks. We have uh, also been able to uh, find many components that were not in the scrapyard but are sitting in collections and uh, sitting disused in various locations in the world and uh, we are talking about uh, wing panels and spare engines and all of the um, miscellaneous parts that we would need to start rebuilding we've got good sources and good leads on many many goodies for our Halifax so we're very pleased with all of this wonderful support and uh, this keen desire by these many national groups to help Halifax 57 rescue with all these uh, technology uh, assistance and uh, all of the help that we're getting we are going to need funding so as you know we are determined we are a national group we are a charity and we really would appreciate your support perhaps maybe it would strike a chord with you perhaps maybe you'd like to assist a, a national group in in uh, resurrecting a national symbol of uh, Canadians fighting for freedom and the Halifax is it we would greatly appreciate all donations that you would send our way and please go to our website uh, at www.57rescuecanada.com and see all of the good work that we are doing on your behalf. We truly need your support. It's an exciting new adventure and we greatly would appreciate hearing from you. Thank you. <laughs>